In this video, I'll be showing you how to create birthday invitation video on Canva. Once you have created your account on Canva, I want you to tap on the search bar. After selecting the search bar, you're going to type in birthday invitation video. Then you'll be redirected to this page. On this page, you'll be provided with numerous templates that you can choose from. So all you'll need to do is hover over the templates with your mouse cursor. And then from there, you can select a template of your liking. Keep in mind that the templates that you see with the crown that says Pro, you'd have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that particular template. But as you can see, there are numerous templates that you can use for completely free. So all you'll need to do is select a template of your liking. So you can see that there are numerous options you can choose from. So let's say for example, I would like to use this one. All I would need to do is select it, then tap on customize this template. After selecting customize this template, you'll be redirected to this page. From here, you can make any changes you want. So for example, if you would like to change this, or if you would like to change the animation, you can do that. So for example, let's say I would like to add a picture right here. All I would need to do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on uploads. Then from there, you could tap on upload files and you could upload the picture. Let's say for example, I would like to use this picture. What I would do is simply remove that. Then from there, I'm going to be adding this picture. So I'll simply drag and place this picture right here. And I'm going to be adding it in the same spot as you can see right there. After you have done that, all you'll need to do now, you're going to tap on animate from the top navigation bar. After tapping on animate, you can select rise. And then from there, you can select whether you would like it to rise on enter and you can see how it looks or on exit and you can see right there. So you can select an option or you can select both. So you can see right there. After doing that, I can simply tap on whether I would like it to pop, but I'm going to leave it as is. So now that I've done that, if you would like to make any other changes, for example, to the text, you can tap on the text and from there you could edit the text or so on. If you would like to change the background image or so on, all you'll need to do is simply drag and place the background that you would like to use. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on share in the top right hand corner. But before doing that, let us tap on play to see how it looks. And you can see that an audio track has also been added. Now, if it is a case that you'd like to remove this audio track or you'd like to edit it in any way, all you'll need to do is go down to the bottom of the page right where you see the timeline, right where you see a purple line. You're going to tap right there. And that is the audio track. So now to edit the audio track, all you'll need to do is tap on the three dots. From here, you can choose to either clip it by tapping on address. You can also increase or decrease the volume by tapping on volume. Another thing that you can also do is if you would like to add effects, you can do that real quick by tapping on audio effects. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on share in the top right hand corner, then tap on download. And you want to ensure that MP4 video has been selected. After doing that, you're going to tap on download and you can now download your video. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.